So we'll be here till we're not here anymore, okay. till they kick us out. Well, it's not your usual mall, but Eau Claire Market has been a very unique piece in the Eau Claire community for three decades. But with its closure now announced for next year, the tenants here know that it's the end of an era. Most popular deities. Extremely special place for myself, my family. End of an era is the best way uh, I can describe the closure of Eau Claire. The mall will be demolished in 2024 to make way for a Green Line LRT station. There's been uncertainty for years, but the news of the closure has struck a chord throughout the mall's 50 tenants who were notified Wednesday. Jacob Adley's family owns the son of Pharaoh. They've been a tenant in Eau Claire Market for 27 years. So 28-year-old Adley's life has very little memory without the mall. I grew up in it and before I was involved in any official capacity I was just a little like mascot running around in the store in uh, diapers. It's really been wonderful even in my short time here. Meanwhile just three weeks ago Pat Wodinski hung her paintings at a peak gallery which has been here a couple years. We had been thinking that we had at least a couple more years here in this location but that's not to be so I know the owner uh, and of course the rest of us who have our work here will be looking for another another site. Everyone knew Eau Claire was eventually going to go, but you always think you're going to just have that little bit more time. Karen Kimmel owns Sanctuary Books. She says it's been an uphill battle in recent years for business, so she hopes support continues until its closure. A lot of people think Eau Claire is closing today and it's not. There's a lot of really hardworking and long-term business owners that have been trying to push through through the pandemic and wait for these wonderful new changes to the area and you know but we're all still here. The owners of Sweet Surprise unchanging for 25 years didn't want to speak on camera but said they're sad to move and hope to stay downtown. Because the closure means a major transit project can go ahead there's a bittersweet feeling for the departures. Downtown is probably going to be messy for the next few years for understandable reasons and for positive reasons. Time for a change, but it's with anything sadness too. In Calgary, Taylor Brought, City News.